Hey guys, welcome back to some more F1 2016 and part 15 of my Return to Glory McLaren career mode. And today we have the Singapore Grand Prix. It should be a pretty good weekend for us actually. I think McLaren in real life uh, are targeting this Grand Prix for some really good success because we have a good chassis and uh, we have decent straight line speed now. So I think a good point scoring uh, result could be on the card. So... Uh, let's get into things, see if anything's uh, happening in terms of um, R&D reports or whatever. And we'll see which teams have upgraded for the Singapore Grand Prix. Uh, obviously teams traditionally do bring upgrade packages to Singapore. But um, obviously Chris, the engineer, has nothing to say. But MANA have had another huge update. That's three more updates that they've brought to this Grand Prix. So... Uh, they've increased the downforce, they've reduced the chassis weight and improved their fuel consumption. So that'll be interesting to look at and they've made a huge step forward because if you remember in the last episode they were on par with Renault and Sauber. Now they're almost past Force India which is crazy to think about but um, obviously we're, we're going to save for points from this race and take them over to the next race in Malaysia and then spend them all for a, a big update in uh, Japan so um, there's uh, the the rivalry is just reset to Daniel Ricciardo once again uh, it'll be a little bit more of a fair fight obviously we had the two DNFs in Hungary and Germany well it wasn't a DNF in Germany but it might as well have been and that that meant that we couldn't win the rivalry but uh, yeah I'm now going to hand over to Joe who has the story of qualifying Qualifying took place today around a wet Singapore and lots of drivers were caught out as the session dried up through its progression and Lewis Hamilton was one of those and he couldn't set a time within the 107% margin and goes out along with Massa, Magnussen, Kvyat, Verstappen and Carlos Sainz. Into Q2 and it was a similar story, it started out on extreme wet and turned to intermediate conditions. Daniel Ricciardo was the biggest name to be caught out this time and he went out in Q2 along with Julian Palmer, Felipe Nasa, Esteban Gutierrez, Nico Hulkenberg and Valtteri Bottas. There was no slip ups for Ferrari though and they completed a 1-2 in a completely dry Q3 but it was Sebastian Vettel who took another pole this season for the Singapore Grand Prix. Hello and welcome one and all to the shining streets of Singapore. Can you believe we've been coming here for nearly a decade now? It feels like only yesterday that Felipe Massa was dragging his fuel hose down the pit lane in that eventful opening race. And in a Grand Prix one from pole position more often than not, will we see a new victor crowned today? Situated just 88 miles north of the equator, this three and a half mile circuit is hot, it's humid, and is an incredible test for the drivers as they try to fight their cars around the bumps and in between the barriers. 23 corners take us twice over the bay to complete a single lap of this unique racetrack. The view is spectacular, the heat is unbearable. The race should be incredible. Anthony Davidson is alongside me in the commentary box this evening and big race this one, a real test of endurance. Sounds right up your alley. Wouldn't you just love to be down there on the grid right now? You know what, Crofty? I'm pretty happy to be up here in my air conditioning, thank you, right now. I can't stress just how difficult these conditions can be, especially when you consider it's the longest race on the calendar in terms of time. It's also one of those races where you have to remember to keep drinking, or there's a real risk of dehydration, just like we saw with young Kevin Magnussen a couple of years ago, don't forget. We mentioned the bumps as well. Take a look at the onboards if you get a chance during this race. The movement in the suspension and the chassis is just incredible and it's lots of hard work to wrestle the car around a lap here. OK, we're looking for a top seven finish today. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. 
Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And Kimi Raikkonen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Alonso, Rosberg, Roman Grosjean, and a McLaren. Ericsson, Verlein, Harry Anto, and Sergio Perez. Palmer, Nasser, Daniel Ricciardo, and Gutierrez. Hulkenberg, Bottas, Felipe Massa, and Kevin Magnussen. Kvyat and Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton, and Carlos Sainz starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Right guys, P6. Uh, quite a mixed up grid, to be honest with you. Uh, crazy uh, wet conditions. Uh, I, I mean, we started uh, on the Inters. Well, no, we started on the Slicks in Q1. Uh, I went out there for an outlap and it was too wet so I came in and put the intermediates on but people like Hamilton and, and Sainz um, and Verstappen they waited oddly for um, yeah we'll do that actually that, that strategy looks good they waited oddly for the end of the session by which time it was full wet conditions and uh, they, they couldn't set a representative time uh, Q2 exactly the same, uh, but the opposite way around. Uh, so you had to come out uh, towards the end of the session and put the the inters on. In Q3, it was all about um, the slick tyres, but uh, I had an incident uh, where I lost my tyre uh, at the end of Q3, so I couldn't put in uh, my best lap. But uh, P6, go be happy with that. And you know, Fernando in P3, so good qualifying for McLaren, Grosjean up here, Ericsson. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see people coming through the field, you know, like uh, Hamilton, obviously. Um, but the two Ferraris on the front row, they obviously timed their runs perfectly in qualifying and managed to avoid uh, a bit of an upset. Fernando P3 showing that we do have the pace round here uh, and that we are probably uh, the fourth best team behind uh, Ferrari, Mercedes and Red Bull because soon as they are in the top 10 Fernando puts in a P3 so obviously he out qualified Rosberg though so you know, I, think, I, I honestly do think it is a strong weekend for us around Singapore and very likely to have a safety car uh, I think we've had it for the last sort of 10 Grand Prix thinking about it um, but Singapore is always a safety car so I would highly expect a, a safety car period uh, there was little to no tyre wear when I did a, a tyre sim run in practice so I did 7 laps on these super softs and I think only got about 18% uh, wear so you know these will go a fair while and that, that's a positive thing so we're hoping for a nice clean race today maybe another podium we should get past Grosjean uh, with all due respect to him and maybe have a bit of a battle with Fernando uh, during the race that's one of the things we're hoping for and, and just maximising this Grand Prix so here we are lining up for the grid Roman Grosjean just in front of us but it could quite easily be a first lap DNF because it's it's a crazy Grand Prix and it'll all come down to the start uh, people just lining up now and looking at the lights uh, in the top right there so you've got blue, yellow, green, red that's quite cool cool little feature, I don't know if that was on last year's game but uh, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Singapore uh, Alonso's starting on the soft tyres interestingly so he'll be going long into the race but here we are lights out and away we go here in Singapore a good start for us uh, compared to Fernando Alonso and Roman Grosjean and we have a look down the inside into turn 1 and we managed to make it into P4 Slight lock up there, and Fernando's still on the outside. We we'll make sure we give him the room, but we should be passed with the superior grip on the super soft tyres. Raikkonen looks to have had a better start than Vettel, and is miles uh, into the lead. 
Uh, Fernando Alonso slots into fifth place. Nico Rosberg having a look at Sebastian Vettel at the end of the first sector split. And they're going side by side. A little bit of contact there. And Rosberg and Vettel still side by side. And Rosberg makes contact with the wall. What's Vettel doing? He's really slow. And Fernando Alonso comes down our inside. We're just being nice and careful here. But Rosberg surely has lost a bit of his front wing there. But an exciting start to the Singapore Grand Prix. We're just trying to manage the pace nicely here. But Kimi Raikkonen already miles into the distance. Uh, and looks like he's already got the win in, in the bag. Look how far ahead he is. That is incredible. Fernando Alonso having a look at us here, but I'm just going to uh, settle down, try and maintain the, the, the gap to Vettel in front, and maybe size up a move, uh, a little bit of drag extend in there. It was more of a corner cut than a track extend, I've got to say, but uh, it is going to be a long slog this race. Be very surprised if we got through without losing a bit of our front wing, but we'll try our best to stay clean. Kimi Raikkonen is already uh, nearly four seconds ahead of the rest of us. We've set a purple sector three, so that's a good sign. And, uh, I'll see you guys if anything happens. Well, we're right behind these two at the moment, and well, we're going to pass Rosberg and hopefully Vettel with DRS wide open. We go down the inside. We'll well, Vettel's gone wide, so we are going to uh, sneak through there. I was just going to back out and, and wait for another opportunity, but we are in the second place and showing good signs of pace here. And uh, we're going to go after Kimi Räikkönen now for the lead of the Grand Prix. And, well, I think any advantage has now been lost. Uh, I think we've lost about 12 seconds by staying on this tyre. The engineer said about three laps ago that it's five minutes till rain, so I'm expecting it any time now. Um, and if we can stay close to Kimi, then that's that's good. Um, and it means that we're going to be in a battle for the lead of the Grand Prix once we've got those wet tyres on. Yes, it's finally started to rain, guys. You can see clearly on... And you can clearly see on the on the front of the car uh, the rain coming off. And well, even though Jeff says we're nowhere near the inter point, I'm inclined to go on to them now. So we come round the final corner. And well, we're going to have to come in this lap. It's it's just got to happen. These tyres have completely gone off. And this is the only way. We're going to get a decent result out of this Grand Prix. Here we come into the pits, putting on intermediate tyres. And we should rejoin in, in a decent position here. So we're down to fifth. Uh, we should rejoin in maybe sixth, but um, you can see the rain is coming down quite heavily. And there goes Massa and Bottas. We're just going to have to be careful on these intermediate tyres and try and make the most of them. And here we go. We're away. Seventh position. Just ahead of uh, Verstappen. It's pretty good. It's not quite wet enough for these tyres yet, but with the rain coming down and such a long lap, I'm expecting... In the next couple of laps, these intermediates will come very much into play. Are we going to come out back in second position? That is the question. We come round the final couple of corners. Now then, Bottas pits. So here we go. I don't think we're going to come out in second. I really don't. But here we go. We come round. Where are we going to come out? Where are we going to come out? There's Nico Rosberg. We come round the first corner. And we are back in the second position. So the strategy did work. We managed to hold our position. And that was the only way we were ever going to be able to do that. Was by risking it for a biscuit. And coming through on these tyres. So 
let's see if we can finish in second position. We're really, really, really struggling on these tyres. Kimi Raikkonen has come through and won the Singapore Grand Prix. The fireworks are going off in the background, which is really, really exciting, actually. When we come round the final turn, are we going to finish in second? Yes, we will. Brilliant. Second place for us. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm so tired after that. <laughs> it was honestly more draining than Monaco, I would say, and that was 39 laps around Monaco, so it just shows. And the credit to the driver as well, though, there's no good having a well oiled machine behind the scenes without a talented hand on the wheel, of course. And as we can see, it's time for the podium. And as the drivers make their way out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. Fantastic win for Ferrari. There we are on the podium once again. Very happy about that. I'm honestly so tired. And now let's so Kimi Raikkonen wins the Singapore Grand Prix. We finish in second. Uh, Nico Rosberg in third. Sebastian Vettel fourth. Daniel Ricciardo in fifth. Felipe Massa sixth. Verstappen seventh. Kvyat eighth. Bottas ninth. And Lewis Hub in tenth. The only non-finishers to talk about are um, Marcus Ericsson, Fernando Alonso and Nico Hulkenberg. That's it for today's Grand Prix and from Anthony So yeah, uh, Sebastian Vettel 12 points ahead in the championship. Hamilton drops to 45 behind Rosberg 50. We're only 71 points behind ourselves, so if we can pick up a few wins towards the end of the season, who's to say that we can't win it? Constructors, we're in fourth at the moment. We are closing in on Red Bull for third, uh, but it's certainly going to be interesting. Let's see if uh, there's any messages for us. Um at the end we've got all this to think about penalty free career booster and here's our first driver bonuses and we've now got 1600 points we should be comfortably ahead of Daniel Ricciardo he's probably got a faster lap than us yes he does so he catches up slightly but um, all of that should be achieved uh, and there's a career score one 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 three something I think but that is going to be the end of this episode so hopefully you guys have enjoyed please leave a like down below if you did you don't have to you don't have to of course but a meal off for me and for the channel and I hope uh, you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye